Hello and welcome to episode 25 of my Force of Nature tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on upgrading our weapon to a bronze longsword, yay, and trying to see if I can get a sheep or a cow, although I don't hold out much hope for that. Um, but you never know, maybe I'll surprise you. Um, also, I want to show you my new technique of uh, fighting with the rocks. Basically, I'm, I run backwards, so I try to. I'm kiting them, reverse kiting them. Oh, I forget what the proper name for it is from that uh, they developed an EQ. But anyway, let's start with making as ourselves a nice new bronze longsword. So for that, we're going to need the anvil. So we'll click on that. Go to recipes. Now you can see that there were two new weapons that I could make: the bronze short sword which is 23 damage. Now bear in mind my current weapon does 20 damage and it's a 0 0.63 delay. So that's only 3 more damage and an extra 0 0.10 seconds delay. So the bronze short sword, not an option for me anyway. But the one we want is the bronze long sword. That has 27 damage. Uh, it's the same delay, so I'm going to lose 0 0.10, but that don't matter, because I prefer the extra damage. Uh, to make the bronze longsword, you'll need four bronze ingots. To make a bronze ingot, remember it's one tin ingot and one copper ingot, some coal and some of them, embers. Um, so for the sword though we need, we'll need 10 sticks, 10 ropes, so easy to make the ropes out of the fronds and the sticks from cutting down the right trees and bushes. So there we go, let's select that and OK. And once we've done, made this we can, I can now remove the stone mace, we're moving into the bronze age, so that's much much cooler. Okay, while that's making, let's just show you the quest to give you an idea of um, the progression with that. Um, so, in order to continue the quests, I've got one which is get one more piece of the force of nature. So, we know how to get these pieces of nature, so that means heading off to, well, let's show you on the map. Die right to the far northwest, right over here. So, check that out that's the next place I've got to go to but before I attempt to do that I'm gonna try to upgrade well I'm gonna get my new sword and hopefully um, I'll start to get a proper farm going with cows and more chickens so I can start to develop better food and everything so anyway that's where that is it's a long way off let's go back to the anvil because my shiny new bronze sword is done Cool, check that out. There we go. Cool, that can go right there. So let's put um, my old weapon on the ground because shan't be needing that. I'll just drop it next to the bow because I'm not really using the bow at the moment. Not to like get some poison or good stuff for the bow, arrow wise. Okay, so that's our new weapon. Uh, notice I've made up loads of rocks. Let's show you what I've developed with the rocks. Oh, and also, notice I've made 50 traps. Yeah, I'm not too optimistic with my uh, taming, my my trapping. So that's why I've made a load. What I will do though is put the ropes in there. Because we don't need to carry them around with us. Okay, let's head off and see if we can find a sheep and a cow. Show you how uh, how I'm now fighting with my rocks. Now I finally tuned my attack tactics, um, and let's see if we can ta tame ourselves a cow or a sheep. Now with the rocks, I've already said to you, clear down all the trees, and then it really does make kiting a lot of fun. So I've got my rocks, let's see if we can find a goblin or some wild animal to demonstrate my new tactique. Here we go, so here's a goblin. Get them lined up, get their attention, and start moving backwards. Not only will you stun them, but look at that, they're not getting a hit on me anymore. We have moved to the uh, super age of fighting, where we are no more longer fighting like a complete idiot. We're actually making the most. See that vital little bit of stun? And he ain't getting away. 
there we go so no downtime what we're saying here is we are keep moving killing and not needing to heal how sweet is that but notice when it gets to trees then you're uh, limited because you can't see they can get in close to hit although he didn't actually get me then so trees we definitely got to cut a load down especially these apple trees because I want more apples but remember we are looking for a sheep or that elusive cow yeah you gotta love the rocks they are just club fantastic okay yeah I've got a lot of trees to cut down oh what's this goblin you see that I mean even though they get close as long as you're moving backwards constantly you can uh, dodge their hit be nice if I could get in from here. Oh, I can. Nice. Oh, I love these rocks. I love fighting with just simple old rocks. Oh, trees in the way. See, another reason why to get rid of the trees. But I can just keep on fighting. Oh, it's that same cheeky goblin. I got him though, didn't I? Did I? Oh, better not worry about him. I better take care of these others. Yeah, trees are not your friend when it comes to fighting. We did get away that other one, never mind. The only thing with fighting with rocks, make sure you always keep a watch on the rocks in your pocket. Oh, he keeps getting away. And because when they're all used up, you'll need to put a new stack. You can see what I mean though about you'll be getting plenty of coins. you can see I am managing to fight and clear a lot quicker just remember to keep topping up your rocks that's the only thing and that is how you get them before they even get near you cool still haven't found a sheep or a cow but then I'm figuring even if I do find a sheep or a cow I'm gonna have to clear the area first of all the goblins because Otherwise, the animals just seem to run straight at them. Oh, oh well. They keep running around these poxy trees. Job, I've got plenty of rocks. Check out my sword. Oh, nice. Yep, I did like that. Right now, these are gonna get chopped up well one of them is there you go getting some gold coins and there's some tin nodes so that's cool why am I getting my sword oh not enough stamina Ooh. quickly let's drink one of that and finish him off Okay, yeah, I was getting so carried away with all the fighting then, I forgot to even check my stamina. Thank goodness for coffee, eh? Still no sheep or cow, but that don't matter. That's the old one-two for you. Rock, then sword. There's a chicken. I do want more chickens, but I 
Yeah, it's alright. It's my coordination is not great switching between the rocks and the swords. Now, let's see if I can effectively get ourselves a fox. sword and one dead fox cool and we got fangs pelts and claws all the good stuff okay where is a sheep or a chicken uh, a sheep or a cow I know there's a cow by the northwest portal but I was hoping to get one a bit nearer there's a boar Oh, here's one I attacked earlier. Let's see, run to. Oh, so I've already. Uh... Oh, there are loads of goblins here. Check that sword out, does over half their damage now. So the most they can get hit wise into me is two before they die. Where'd them others run off to? Let's do this boar. Oh, meat, fangs and pelt. Cool. Oops, didn't mean to do that. No, well, there's no shortage of these uh, goblins. time now he's run off completely I don't have a clue where he's gone hmm okay well there's a pig but I'm not looking for a pig I want, let's drink some coffee. What I want is a sheep, really, so I can start making some armour. of me okay so let's eat a strawberry and another coffee Seats and meat. And it's getting awfully dark. Oh, I've run out of lanterns. I should have made a load more. They're very simple to make them lanterns. Um, 
So yeah, I must make a load more. Oh, there's the timer. It's probably saved me because it's complete darkness and I don't want to make videos in the dark. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.